all right everybody welcome back again and right we're at the very ending so they're here in a rap battle scott somehow loses but they're still stunned so and scott just ko's him and he explodes into money and he only got two dollars and ten cents so he takes her Ramona to um, the bus and they're gonna date and they're gonna make out uh, yeah apparently in order to date Ramona you have to you have to fight seven of her ex boyfriends uh, and then Scott's actually okay with that to be honest I would too honestly Ramona's pretty cool this guy Gideon, is he one of them? Ooh, Ramona ain't like that. Do you still want to go out with me? Yes. Damn, so that's pretty cool. Whoop. Luckily, we can go into the second volume right now. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. This is this was actually the first one I read and it's one of my favorites. It's very I mean all the Scott Pilgrim books are colorful, but this one's really colorful. I like how it picks up. The romance is nice. The fight's a little bit lackluster in this one, but it's still good. The characters are developing. It's it's great. And Ramona gets a better hairstyle. I think that's Walls running home. That's Ramona just sitting there all sad. I think that's Steven and that might be Kim. Funnily enough, so this is Scott's backstory. He's in high school. He's like at a Christian high school. And he got beat up, which is pretty sad because if Scott was like 23 like he is now, he'd have killed all three of them. So that's Lisa. And even though they seem to be friends here, Scott actually does not care at all. He doesn't like to be disturbed when evening, so he's like all annoyed. They're somehow outside, yet there's like lockers next to trees. I don't know. Everyone's making fun of Scott because they think he has a girlfriend, but not really. And this is when he first meets Kim at a school project. So this is when Scott first like learns guitar and stuff. He's actually a bass player. So Scott's thinking maybe Kim should be in your band and she decides yes. Scott says he likes her, likes Kim. Lisa asks how, but then he corrects himself since he just wants to join the band. However, they kidnapped Kim and beat up everybody at St. Jules, so they're going to the Benvy Tech Boys. Simon, I'm here. Don't be a pussy. It's <laughs> on the roof, bar. So, he destroyed the entire school. What a power grid. So this is Simon Lee, that's Scott. I mean, that's um, Kim tied up to the, or handcuffed to the roof. And Scott destroys Simon. And he flies across the planet Earth and sees the curvature. Scott asks Kim if she wants to join his band and date him. She says yes. Alright, so these are the high school days. They're kissing in the rain. They're playing. They start smashing. And then he moves to Toronto. Oh. So this guy's reliving some of his high school life. Now he's playing video. This is the present day. And he's being a weirdo because he's dreaming about playing video games. And Ramona wakes him up. Telling him to get his ass out of bed, and it's 11:30. It's late, and he says, "11:30 is not late." 
to be honest, I always got an apology because even though I relate to him a lot because we're both kind of idiots, overactive, you know, stuff like that, and kind of girl crazy. But I always, like, used to judge him because he would get up at, like, 12 or, like, like 1 in the, in the afternoon. But the thing is, that's all this summer. That's Those are – I today I woke up at 1 o'clock. I'm, like, just like him. If I don't have a job or I don't have to go to school, I'm going to wake up at freaking 1 or 12. Okay, so Scott's got a new jet. Scott Pilgrim, hero of his book, Twin Drew, fun fact was also the hero of Scott Pilgrim Volume 1. And I'll be the hero for all the other ones. Boswell is his roommate of hero and 25 years old. And fun fact, he is gay. Okay. It's almost nice though. I mean, it's about time. Was April or something? It's April, yes. Hey, Lucas Lee is filming a new movie here. Why do you care? Is he hot? Was he in that thing to bottle rocket that was their concert? No, that was Lucas. Well, that was Luke Wilson. No comment on the hotness. I was reading a magazine that says not enough people are buying beer. That's a lie. Isn't Luke Wilson the guy from that band I put up a show with last week? Can we talk about something else? Okay, so he's inviting Ramona over for dinner. And he says he can meet her, but I already met her actually. What? Yeah, Stacy introduces. What? When? At your show. My show? My show of Lucas Lee? Luke Wilson! Whatever. Why does my sister know Ramona? Look, Scott, I'd like to issue an ultimatum. One of your famous ultimatums? They may live in infamy. You have to break up with knives tonight. You have to, okay? But, but, it's hard. If you don't do it, you can tell Ramona all about knives. First thing when she walks in the door. I swear to God, too, Scott. But your stuff was standard. These are lies. Dirty ones. Oh, well, I'm having a friend over tonight, so don't come home. Wait, what? We are home. This is our stuff. See you tomorrow, Scott. You suck. Surprising no one. If bad was a boot, you'd fit it. You're a stupid poo-poo head. I had sexual relationships with your mother. I can't read the rest of this. Your mother was not that good in bed. You are a wretched soul. I am blah, blah, blah. It's too small. Okay. So Scott's calling knives and she like knows what he's wearing. And she turns out to be right next to him. Look at you. This is the band Classic Demon Head. Remember these three people. They all come in later. See how he's like grimacing because he has like a, he knows these people. In love. Oh, oh that's so sad. Oh, listen, I think we should break up or whatever. Oh. oh. So Scott feels bad because he just did a horrible thing, right? Your sex drugs, <laughs> but then he thinks about Ramona. It's like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna date Ramona. So he tells everybody they broke up, but he can't wait for them to be his new girlfriend. Then Kim like is mad, Scott, understandably. So it's your big night, eh? fattening up for a kill. Get out, be gone, enough. Hey, come on, I have to eat before she gets here and kick me kick me out. Stop. Hands off, not for you. But there's too much food. There's only enough for me and Rami. Okay. Scott can I mean Wallace just eat at a restaurant boy, okay? Rami, are you seriously calling her that? Not to her face. She's here. Oh my god. I'll get it. Okay, so this is my one <sighs> Ah I'm gonna make a couple more videos and then I'll be done with today. Uh, I'm gonna continue this later. Peace out. Watch out.